Welcome to the Doing It Is channel. Today we are going to learn about how to create a mutation in Apollo Server. So let's get started. In the previous lessons, we created two queries, characters and character ID, which was type query. Now we are going to create a type mutation. So let's do type mutation. And we are going to name the mutation as add character. All right. So what does this character uh, add character mutation need? It needs the following fields to create a character. So let's do name is a string and status also a string. Everything is a string. So gender string and image also a string. And what does this character mutation return? It returns a character all right now our mutation is done let's create the mutation in our resolvers so mutation the same name add character same name as the mutation and once we get data from our client we are going to insert that to the database or in our case just insert it to our data array that we have um, so again the first parameter we get is the parent and I'm going to use it the next parameter is going to be the data so let's um, deconstruct this I get the name I get the status gender and image uh, let's create const uh, store character and data object so um, this data has a id unique id so let's do id and random string right uh, random integer right now and let's put the name status and uh, an image now let's push this up now let's push this object to our array so data dot push to character all right so now that's in the array now it's always important to remember that you should return what you stored in uh, the database or wherever so let's return the store character to our client this is very important to do so the client you know uh, the apple client or whatever client graph client we use knows that uh, we get the expects the stored value okay for caching purposes uh, all right i think we are done with the mutation so to re to again go and check our steps we have a type mutation and the name of the mutation add character the fields that we need to create the character and this mutation add character returns a character type and then in the resolvers we have add character this parameter is the parent and then the fields okay so a simpler way of doing this we actually don't need to have them by a deconstruct then we can just do a payload and just use the spread operator here payload it's the same thing uh it's just esx stuff so we have the ID and then the payload. All right, let's start our server node index.js. Okay, it's running on 4000. Let's refresh. Okay, I have get characters query. Let's run this and see the characters that we have. All right, we have five characters. Now let's do the mutation. Mutation, it's always good to have a name. So let's Type in the name. Let's do character as the name of the mutation and brackets and add character. Suppose let's check docs. Right now we have a new mutation here. Add character. Click that. Yes. The add character expects four parameters which we need to pass. Let's do that. It expects a name. I'll do my name 
and it takes back status live agenda mail and finally an image i'm going to store random image string here all right okay we now of course we have to get a return so i'll get the name and gender okay now let's run this mutation that we get to character all right we get the stored value now uh, beautiful now let's run the get characters query and see if it got persisted get characters and yes we have the mutation that we just did yes that's a simple lesson now we know how to write do mutations apollo server uh, in the next lesson let's do uh, create a form in our Next.js application and just do a mutation through apollo client all right that's a quick lesson uh, stay tuned for the next one please do like share and subscribe and do comment of any questions that you have Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.